question. Uh, what are your uh, overall reactions? Overall reactions are great. I mean, Baltimore's been a good city for this conference to be in. Everybody seems to be really happy. And I'm really liking the way that the Rails platform continues to grow and evolve and, and the way people are taking it somewhere. How, how is this comparing to previous years for you? <clears throat> like in what way? Uh, you know, just the overall vibe or where you feel the community is going. A lot of people have been saying the community has been maturing and it's all, boring's the wrong word, but it's like maturing is probably the better way to phrase it. It has been maturing some. I mean, there is still the, uh, what did David say one year, the uh, the hookers, uh, steaks, and, uh, steaks and strippers. strippers. Yeah, there, yeah. And there's there's still a bit of that in uh, that community around. But, um, yeah, there's maturity. I mean, even in David's keynote when he was talking about the issues that he's running into, he was talking about legacy code, his own legacy code, and it's interesting to watch both him and everybody else turn this corner where they're no longer the uh, the cool kids on the block ripping everything down because, well, we only are building new stuff. All of a sudden, they, they have their own legacy to, to support and they're learning from that. And that's, that's nice to watch that because even if you keep that rebel spirit in there, it does bring a dose of reality into the into the discussion that wasn't there before. It's kind of like when the rock band gets starts getting old, and, <laughs> and they they're competent rockers, but you know it's maybe lost some of the punk feel that it used to have. Right. Right. Um, so you've been the man behind the camera for for this conference and for for TED, as I understand. Yep, yep. But can you tell us what it's like uh, behind the lens? Any insights from behind there? Um, well. Uncle Bob's got lots of energy. It's hard, hard, hard to follow him. Uh, shooting him on stage, he's just boing, 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 boing. Are you aware that Gary Vaynerchuk is coming up? <laughs> I am quite aware, yes, yes. I'll, although I'll be interested to see because Gary at <clears throat> Gov2 Expo a couple weeks ago, he was, he was calm. He was calm, so we'll see, we'll see. It's, it's more than composition with photography. What is right. the story you're trying to tell? Well, the basic story I always try to tell with stage photography is to try to capture the emotion of the speaker, to try to really connect with them and figure out how they're connecting with the audience and show that. Um, you can show a speaker just standing there like cardboard and that's not interesting for anybody or you can actually try to get some of the emotion there. You know, you've got speakers that are really easy to do that. Bob, this morning, he's easy, you know, he reaches out. <clears throat> but, um, but other speakers, are, they require a little more finesse. You have to wait for it. You have to see what that moment is where they get lost into their own thoughts and they can just let themselves come out rather than thinking, oh my God, I'm on stage, there's lights here, all the rest of it. And when they let that little bit of personality out, then that's usually a good time to capture them and kind of show that they're up there, they're presenting a message, and they're doing something. It's like being a wildlife photographer, a lot of waiting for the, the shy animal to come out of its cage. Uh, so I guess been asking this too. Where do you see it all going? What's the next challenges, next steps for for this community? I think the big challenges for the Rails community. There's two. There's one, the continued evolution of the platform. Where does this go? Um, I really like some of the thoughts I'm hearing about where this is going. Where people are talking about compiling JavaScript and compiling CSS and all those resource files that were before just kind of scattered around, actually becoming first class citizens in there. And that's a good evolution to to, to take. But there's a longer-term evolution that will be really interesting to watch, which is what happens when Rails is boring? What happens when all the challenges here have been solved and we're on to the next set of challenges? How gracefully does that happen? Do people move into an entirely new framework, an entirely new language? What tools do people pick up as they, as they move through with what they need to do, right? What we have right now works well for a lot of purposes, but you know, five years from now, it's going to be a different ball game, and and how how do we how do we all as a community not just band together around oh a flag that says oh I do Ruby, but as just saying I fix problems, I solve problems, I do stuff, right? That's going to be the interesting part for me watching how that transition happens. That was very yeah the the idea that it might ossify like any other community and then become unresponsive to change. That's a really good one. We don't have to put my analysis in here, but <laughs> so the cut point here is we've been asking everyone, uh, RailsConf in one word. What do you got? Fun. Fun. <laughs> Thanks very much, man.